he's going for it. Everybody, welcome back to another video here. We're in the Honda here. You guys haven't haven't gotten to see a super cool cold start on this thing, so here we go. Oh wow, yep, that's it. That's all she wrote. We're gonna be doing a couple of things here. Not all on the Honda, no. We got a very, very simple, simple thing we gotta do on this real quick, but that's not really what this video is about. But let's get on over to the barn and get started on it. But yeah, this thing does now have 96,000 miles on it. Just in the like two weeks we've had this thing, we've already put over 1,500 miles on it, which is pretty crazy. Engine lights on because it likes to party. Apparently it's been on for like the last 10 years. Hooking on the trailer, wiring so of course this thing is a towing monster it's got a little hitch on it rated for 3,000 pounds probably not going to exceed about 1500 pounds of total towing capacity though with our trailer and the atv or the mower on it because the vehicle is not rated for more than 1500 even though the hitch says 3000 the hitch was designed for a whole slew of vehicles it happens to fit this one as well but just because the hitch says it can tow it does not mean the vehicle is technically capable of it and if your vehicle is rated for way more than 3,000 pounds that does not mean the hitch is capable of doing more than that safely so we're going to be hooking up the wiring to this that way we have the wiring for when we do need to use it because i have not used this yet for any kind of towing because i don't have any wiring on it and i haven't had to do that yet because we did in fact put the trailer tow package on this thing so now i've been using this to tow every time i need to Here's the axle from yesterday's video. We got it all painted up, looking new again. Much, much better, took it down the road yesterday. Um, and it's, uh, it's of course dry and it looks good. Um, we're gonna be doing a couple small things on Rosine today as well. She's got a couple, couple more spots where we're going to be applying some flat enamel paint to get that frame looking nice and clean the giveaway for this truck is actually live so if you want to enter to win this 2005 59 cummins plus five grand first week of the giveaway you are going to be able to get 10 entries for every one dollar you spend towards winning this truck plus five thousand dollars cash do not miss out the sweet freaking truck we're gonna try to do a video here as long as i can get somebody to help me film we're gonna try to do a video of basically just trolling people in this thing like getting on the highway pulling up alongside some Mustangs, Corvettes, just whatever we just whatever we come across that seems like it'd be the type of person that's willing to do a small pull and just kind of see how people react to this thing, hopefully smoking them in a small pull. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that video goes. It's, it's gonna take a little bit of work because I'm gonna need an extra hand for filming and getting other angles and shots, but should be pretty fun. Anyways, let's get to it. Let's get the wiring hooked up on this thing real quick. And get to working on rosine so here's actually the trailer wiring for this thing it's supposed to be pretty stinking simple it's a custom wiring connector from kurt and it's supposed to be it's supposed to be plug and play but we will see how that goes it says no splicing required that would be nice because i hate having to splice wires i have done it many many times not always the funnest thing just kind of annoying and uh hopefully hopefully we won't have to do that with this and just plug it on in and zip tie her up and she's good to go. We're gonna turn off the time lapse here. We did get the trailer wiring hooked up this is just for lights it's not for brakes or anything obviously on this vehicle this is what it looks like it's the kurt tow package with the uh, wiring this is how they suggested the wiring be ran i don't know why that's just the way the instructions were laid out i have to basically remove the carpet cover here the cargo lid the cargo bin under here there's actually quite a bit remove all these clips off of here they're called cargo tie down hooks or whatever uh, i had to have all the all this removed and then there's just a plug and play wiring clip coming off of the actual tail light wiring if i can get this to focus holy smokes anyways there's some wiring coming off of the tail light wiring from the factory that you can literally just plug those kits into because i'm guessing 
it was very few models but i'm guessing there was a trailer tow package option from the factory if it had any kind of tow rating um, it probably had some kind of towing package option as well for a small tow package and so the wiring is probably just made to have that adapter just in case somebody optioned it from the factory but we got that it just plugs in and then you just kind of zip tight to some of the wiring that runs through the back under this panel here and then they say to just run it under the trim piece straight down um, so yeah I don't know I don't know how I feel about it I mean it's fine it doesn't it doesn't damage anything when you close it because um, well it just doesn't but yeah. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Winter coming for this truck this week yet, so stay tuned, by the way. Trying to clean up this arena, need some work. I'm thinking about getting a pull behind ATV slash lawnmower sprayer that actually pulls behind you, doesn't sit on the ATV it'll be real low so we can keep the spray very very low but weed kill this whole thing it's just hard to keep these arenas clean because grass and weeds can grow in it so unless you like rake this thing like regularly like weekly and even then some it grows with stuff quick you can see that giant pile of sod that's just trying to drag that around as much as I can to pick up um, any of these weeds that I can loosen up and then get the root bases uh, and then they just kind of drag around and then I can stop over there and rake them out into the burn pile. But what would you guys say is the best way to salvage this arena to make it really nice again? Aside from weed killing it, at least all of the weeds and stuff in here in the grass, everything would be dead. And then it would look nice after you rake it a couple times over. I hate having to use chemicals. I just would like an alternative way if you guys can think of one i almost thought of a small atv disc to really cut up the roots and be able to drag it around and maybe that would help make it look a little nicer by uh killing more of these weeds and grass by getting the roots all chopped up and out of the ground a little more but i don't know what do you guys think so we're actually going to be painting a little bit more of rosine's frame um, you can see the underside here it was sprayed by somebody else at one point this isn't from us but you can see that there's uh, some black spray paint on that but there's a few spots under here that need coated up like you can see some some of the small rust spots starting on the frame there and then like i said most of the frame on this thing is really really clean i mean it really doesn't need anything most of it it could just be like oiled to keep it from rusting in the winter and it'd still be fine for many 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 years but I would like to at least coat what we can to maybe help keep it a little bit nicer looking. I think what I'm going to do is put a bag around her exhaust tip here to make sure we don't get any paint on that. Mask off her shocks so we don't get any paint on those. And then I think I'm just going to try to coat up at least this passenger side of the frame today. I've got to run soon so I don't have a lot of time but I think I can get the passenger side done here at least for today and then maybe do the other side tomorrow. Maybe the chickens here can help speed up the process, I don't know. the whole passenger side of Rosine's frame coated with two coats of the Rust-Oleum flat enamel. Check it out. Like I said, this is just to make it, you know, look pretty much like new again. It's just a protective coating. It's not like a chassis saver though, or what they would use for like a frame off resto. It's just something simple to coat it, give it that like basically like new finish without really breaking the bank. It's pretty cheap. A little bit of extra protection you know for your frame just to maintain its good look over the years and as long as you maintain it by pressure washing and keeping salt off throughout the winter 
and whenever you have road debris on your frame and you just kind of keep it off as clean as you can throughout the year over the years these things will hold up pretty darn nice if you don't these frames will fall to pieces so if you're wanting a low cost remedy i really do recommend doing that to your frame if it's in pretty darn good shape and it doesn't need a lot of prep work that's a quick way to make it look like new again so i did actually find a wiring harness laying around in our shop that's for a light bar that would be great for the third gen so i'll keep that in mind for the fog light setup but we did get something else for the third gen that i thought we should get to installing and i'll show you why i think we should do it so if you check this third brake light out on this truck he used to have a stack in the bed unfortunately i'm not really a fan of the hole in the bed it got very warm and actually warped the plastic on the third brake light it still works it's just the plastic's all deformed now and it doesn't look very nice so we're going to pop these screws out and swap this out with a new one and we actually got an upgraded one that will match some tail lights that we're also swapping out on the truck and i'll show you uh, the reason for that as well, but it's gonna match the tail lights that are not yet here. These have a couple of scratches in them and this one's like dented in right here. And I'm not really sure how you like dent in a plastic tail light without completely cracking it. It's also got a real small crack here. And then the inside is just really dirty. I don't know why it's so dirty, but so we got a brand new set of tail lights coming for this thing that will match this third brake light, but uh, we don't have those in yet. So we're just gonna do what we do have and we're gonna get to installing that third brake light and show you what it looks like. So here's the third brake light that we got for this thing. And uh, it looks pretty sweet. It's very simple. Just got those little LED strips in them. And it's also got your cargo lights on the side here and there. Those are LEDs as well. This light is gonna be a red LED for your brake light. The sides, like I said, are your bed light, your cargo light. Looks good so far. So there's your LED bed lights, and they're actually really, really bright. Camera doesn't do a whole lot of justice. Yeah, no justice through this iPhone, but they're actually really stinking bright. And then there's your brake light. I don't know if I mentioned just how nice this bed cover is, but it's freaking sweet. I had another one just like it. Well guys, we're in the 5.9 Cummins right now. Just got it fired up a second ago. I thought I was recording. I guess I was not because I didn't get to start up. But anyways, we're gonna be getting on the road here. I was gonna film a video of like trolling some people in the 5.9. I currently don't have anybody to film that with me, so I don't know how well this is gonna go. I'm just gonna be heading over to my parents because they have better Wi-Fi to upload some stuff for the current giveaway for this 2005 5.9 Cummins plus $5,000 cash. If you wanna get in on that, olympicgear.com, buy anything on the store and you're automatically entered. However, I'm filming solo, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get these shots of trying to troll some people here in the coming. If I can, cool. If I can't, then I'll have to do it another day when I have somebody to ride shotgun and get the clip so I can focus on shifting through gears because that, of course, uh, can be kind of hard holding a camera, shifting gears, and holding a wheel, and it's not recommended by anybody. Break in. That's first. No promises that uh, it's gonna be incredible footage. thing freaking scoops holy smokes but this transmission is a lot of fun and it's really really easy to get used to I've had some guys say you know I don't know if I like this style of transmission I think it would get kind of old and I'm telling you guys it really is it's not like anything difficult at all I mean it it, it, it really is simple and it, and it doesn't take much effort it's basically like a semi-automatic transmission or 
a you know um, a semi-automatic manual I mean it, it's really really simple stuff so there's actually a third gen behind me and I'm gonna see if maybe they want to go at it I don't know there's not much highway right here it's a Hemi <laughs> I don't know I feel like this Hemi might mess with me like it might be kind of fun or you might just get ticked <laughs> He's going for it. <laughs> He's messing with it. <laughs> good sport about it. He was having some fun. Well, there he goes. He was the one guy that I thought, I'm like, I'm like, man, this guy's kind of a lead foot. I'm like, I thought he might mess with me. And as soon as I rode by him a little bit, there was two guys in the cab, one guy driving, obviously, and the other guy sitting shotgun. And the guy sitting shotgun kept looking at the driver and look at me smiling. He's like, oh yeah. I'm like, and I think he's just because he liked the truck. The driver definitely got in on it because he was going back and forth with me, having some fun. There's a good looking Cummins. But yeah, it's definitely a video that we should shoot. And I think it'd be pretty stinking easy to shoot because there's a lot of people, people that are, you know, willing to do highway pulls like that. The problem is I can't do it with one hand you know, filming and driving and shifting to actually make it fun. So I'm gonna see if I can get somebody to film with me for that video. I wanna make it like really fun and entertaining because I think it can be a really, really good one. So let's see if we can get that thrown together. Hello everybody, I appreciate you all watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Remember, this giveaway is live for the truck. If you wanna enter and win it, it can be yours. It's very simple. You just go to lmpgear.com, place an order. You're automatically entered to win 10X entries and though on June 29th, which is in less than a week. So if you wanna get those 10X entries, make sure you take advantage of that while you can. And the other thing is too, guys, there's not as many people that enter these things as you think because I bet 95% of you watching this video ordinarily don't enter because you think, oh, well, you know, however many people watch the videos, that must be how many people are entering, or how many people are subscribed, that must be how many people are entering, or how many people follow this Instagram, that's how many people, it's not even close. Because most of the people follow because they think it's cool to watch and see what happens, and you know, they fantasize about, oh, I wish, you know, that could be, I could be winning that trick, that'd be cool. But the odds are probably one in a million, so I'm not gonna enter. It's not even close to true, because most of the people watching the video think the exact same thing that, oh, it's, it's not possible, so I'm just not gonna enter. Which, what does that mean? That means that your odds are so much freaking higher than you realize because so many people think the exact same way. So guys, just keep in mind, your odds are way stinking higher than you probably realize. I wish I could give you numbers, but I can't. I can't because it's not legal to tell you how many people enter the giveaways on average, but it's probably way less than you think. Let's just say that. And then I'm gonna leave it at that. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the videos. Trying to make them a little bit more entertaining for you guys. Trying to add a little more pieces of content to them to try to make them a little more enjoyable to watch. If you guys did enjoy this, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next video.